Hi guys and uh, welcome back to Kickback Garage. Now because of the current affairs around the world and uh, I think we're about a week or two in front of uh, what you're doing in the UK at least and uh, we're on a complete shutdown here. Unfortunately uh, my wife is a care worker so she's on uh, duty 24 7 so I have to help around the house and do uh, do all this like important stuff like uh, hunting bog rolls <laughs> but uh, I uh, I thought I'd just tell you that um, I'm thinking about you all all right and uh, and stay safe but from now on I am making this a completely corona free uh, channel and uh, this is sort of our respite. This is where we go to when uh, when things are weighing uh, hard on our shoulders. And uh, to tell you the truth, I've been out here a couple of hours now messing around with, uh, with touring here. And um, yeah, it's good for the soul, isn't it? It's good for the soul. It takes your mind off stuff. So what I'm going to do today is, uh, just to ease myself into things again, I'm going to uh, show you the difference and show you how they work the difference between the BGM silent block uh, removal tool and I've got an Indian tool I want to show you and we're going to compare the two and uh, we're going to give the tool a go the BGM one and see how that works so uh, chins up grab a cell of coffee or something stiffer and uh, we'll do that now <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new BGM silent block tool. It's uh, it's pretty, and it's uh, CNC machined. I've seen the video; they've got a video out there with uh, this being machined. And here are all the parts that you need to remove and replace silent blocks. This horrible thing is an Indian one that I used. That I used that I uh, bought mm, 15, 16 years ago, something like that. Actually, the uh, BGM is a little bit more solid. It's heavier, even though this is pretty solid too. Uh, obviously, the bolt is proper quality compared to this one, which uh, it's held up. It's held up. But as you can see, there's a lot of... Uh, I have to grease this when I use it so that the, the threads will uh, work properly. And... The annoying thing with this this one, the Indian one that I've got, is that it doesn't have, first off, it doesn't have the recess on this. I'll show you where that goes on the on the back side of the the uh, engine case. It doesn't have that. And uh, it has a tendency, because it doesn't have this uh, groove here, it has a tendency to pull the silent blocks in at an angle, which is a bit annoying. And this one to take it out, it's a bit flimsy. You can see in comparison to the BGM one, which is this one, it's, qu it's a quite a lot thinner. So um, I imagine, I haven't used it yet, we're going to give it a try. Uh, this can, um, it moves around a little bit more. And uh, you, you can also risk when you pull them out that you pull them out at an angle. Uh, this is a lot more simple in the way that it's built up. You've got this chunky nut on the end there. Whereas on the Indian type one, I have this horrible nut and bolt arrangement, and you fasten that with a with a nut uh, a bolt in the top there. And the big big problem with this, I mean, this does remove the Indian one removes the silent blocks pretty easily, but when I'm uh, putting the silent blocks back in again, because of the way they've designed this with the threads on it. Jesus. Start again. Uh, where was I? Yeah, because of the way that this is designed uh, with these threads on there, it's it's really, really hard to get the silent blocks in uh, at the right angle. Um, and what also what happens is that when I've been threading the silent block in with this Indian tool, the, it actually pulls the silent block round. So if I line up the holes in the in the engine case, when I've uh, actually pulled it in, 
they're uh, they're about 45, 30 to 45 degrees uh, out of line. So uh, the last few I've used, I've uh, the last couple of times I've uh, done that, I have to sort of uh, guesstimate how how much the uh, this tool twists them into the block itself. Uh, I'm not expecting that with this. I really, really hope that's uh, that's the case. And as a point of view, I was looking at eBay now, and it does look like the Indian one has this. Uh, I mean, obviously, I can make it myself, but um, on my Casa case, I haven't got that uh, the rib there. But on the, on the case I'm going to do now, which is to, for the TV 175 rebuild that I'm messing around with, then we have this uh, strengthening rib. So this is all exciting stuff. Uh, the price on this one, I think, was £52 on the BGM. And the price on the Indian one was uh, £35. Now, in all fairness, <sighs> thinking about it now, I wish BGM had made something like this earlier. Or at least a proper toolmaker had made something like this earlier that's a little bit more well thought out. Uh, because I've been... I hate using this tool. So hopefully, uh, this tool will uh, reinstall my uh, <laughs> will reinstall my faith in uh, Lamberta tools. Another point to note as well is actually is this has a recess too for when you're taking uh, when you're taking out the silent block. So it sits it sits centrally on the outside of the engine mount there. Whereas this, obviously, you can see is a lot thinner. Actually, that does fit in there. So I think this should be a lot more stable. So I'm going to go grab myself a cup of coffee and uh, I'll grab the engine block and we'll see how this works. I know how this works, it works shite. So let's see if this is better. Here's the TV uh, case. And the reason why I have to move, take this uh, silent block out is, uh, for those that know, this point here, the third hole in the, in the uh, silent block mount, that should point basically where the second hole is here. So these have been put in uh, wrong. The other side is actually correct, but uh, yeah. So I don't know what's been happening there, but this was, uh, it was bought like this with these in. So what I'm gonna do is uh, attempt to take this out with uh, the, uh, <laughs> I almost said uh, something else there, BGM tool. Now, uh, I think I'd prefer to have a washer there. So I've got a big washer. That should come with a kit BGM. If you're listening, you should have a washer there, I reckon. I like that better. And then you've got this one, which sits nicely on the, on the back side here. Or does it? Uh, uh, yes, it does. If you put it in the right way around, Rob, then yes, it does. And then it's a case of winding in this. I'm not sure my plan of attack yet. What I think I'm going to do there is the old... Uh, I'll wind it off. Um, what if, can I, do you think I can get enough room there? Yes, I can. So... Does that just fit? Oh, almost. I think I'll wind it in this way. Oh, that was really, really hard to get started. But these silent blocks, they've been, they've been in here for oh, at least 30 years. <laughs> but now, there we go, I think that's it. Yep, she's out. Uh, it's a case of loosening this. And there she is. And uh, there is some grease on there, so the person who's fitted it hasn't done too bad of a job. Just uh, got it in at the wrong angle. Right, well, so that was that bit. And uh, basically that was about the same as uh, how it is to get it out with the cheap tool. But what's nice about the, uh, the BGM tool here is that you can see this uh, strengthening rib 
on the engine case here. Now I haven't got this on my Casa case. Um, and I've put the old <laughs> put the old one back again, but uh, this this rib goes quite far up into into the hole here. So when I use the uh, the other type that I've got, then I had sort of had to force it in sideways because it didn't sit flat uh, on the back side here. But this one with the uh, what's my jig there, yeah. So that will fit. That should be really good. So this that should ease it going in. But uh, before I put that in, I'm going to give it lots and lots of heat. And for this one, I don't use the heat gun. I always have to use the Primus. And I think while I'm uh, while I'm having a cup of coffee here, I think I'm going to throw these in the this one in the freezer as well because that does does aid it uh, slide in a little bit. It shrinks it a little bit. So we'll do that. Burn, baby, burn! It's really, really important to uh, heat these up. Heat them up well. That's hot stuff, hot stuff. And this is fucking cold stuff. Bit of grease. And now. Uh, on the inside here. And this has to sit there. This is going to be facing the ground. So that's about right. At least uh, a lot better than it was. And then this one on the back. And this one goes on the front. I think I'm going to fit my washer on that as well. So slide that through there. Ha ho ho! Ho ho ho! It's a lot of hot stuff going on here. Slide this over. Make sure that this, obviously, this uh, recess goes over the spline there. And then it's this bolt here. Let's see if we can uh, pull her in. This, and you can you can straighten it out by hand there a little bit before you start off, and then it's uh, try and see if we can slide that puppy back in again. I actually haven't got a a twenty four, so I have to use the old. Oh. So this was the difficult bit with the other one I had. Here you go, you can see it's sliding in quite easily actually, and on a good note. It's not turning, it's not turning the silent block round. Ah, it's easing in, uh, just lovely that is. I think I'll uh, hold this and ratchet that. What if I put that on there? Do you reckon that'll do the job if I put it on the uh, on the bump stop? So I can hold the block. Yeah. If you numby pamby around with this, then the cases are gonna <laughs> cool down again. So you really have to do it quick. That's it, she's in. Right, so for me, this is a moment of truth. Want to check that that silent block engine mount hasn't moved there you go 
facing downwards. So that's uh, that's where I placed it. Very very good, very very good. So with that, I'm gonna have to say that yeah, obviously, this 55 pound tool from uh, BGM is. Uh, what can we say? I, uh, actually, I can say it's 50% better than the one that I got from uh, India. Now, I've had no problems with the one with India, apart from the fact, as I say, that the uh, silent blocks, they move when I've been pushing them in like I did there. But getting them out, exactly the same. So, you pay your money, and uh, but anyway, look at it. It's CNC machined. The only funny thing is, is that when I've seen them on, uh, seen, seen them on the videos, then they look a little bit more shiny on that. I think this is, uh, it's been, it's got some sort of coating on the top there. And should really include uh, some kind of washer to have on the top there because that didn't come. That's my own, own washer there. Because if you just, uh, if you just threading the screw on the bolt on the top there, then it's gonna be a little bit mangled compared to mangling the washer. Right, so that was a bit of waffle. But uh, you pay your money and you take your choice. But yep, yeah, definitely a thumbs up from me there. I think I'd give it uh, the India one. I'd have to give like six out of ten, and then this one is like eight out of ten. Um, nothing's ever perfect. It, it is still quite hard to get out, but very very easy to fit, and that is uh, that is excellent because that's what I normally uh, don't look forward to doing. Right, I'll uh, knock this one on the head. Next video that's coming is I'm going to be concentrating on the engine there. And it shouldn't come uh, very long because I'm going to crack on with that now, actually, to tell you the truth. And I will uh, should post that a couple of days after this one. Cool. So uh, stay safe, boys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Of course, you do the old uh, thumbs up and subscribe because we're going to be uh, indoors a lot <laughs> over the next few months. <laughs> Take care, lads. La 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 la, three hours later.